All right. It's time for another backlog game. Which, admittedly, I probably should have played this one sooner rather than later. I can't remember the reason why it's taken this long to play it, but here we are. Uh, when did this come out? 2019. Hmm. I don't know. Mellow mode or classic? I don't know the difference. But this is, uh, invoking certain feelings of a game I used to play as a kid. I think you can probably guess which one. Also, hey, Nick, though. I mean, this just looks like Yoshi's Island. This is the lovely island of the Yoshis. At the topmost peak of the island sits a glistening gem set wonder known as the Sun Dreamstone. Legends say that Sun Dreamstone possesses the power to make anyone's wildest dreams come true. One fine day. What is that? Orange Yoshi doing. Of course. Baby Bowser and Kamek caught wind of the Sun Dream Stone and made their way to the island. We'll be taking that. That orange Yoshi, Yoshi looks like a little bit too relaxed. I mean, this is a pretty nice aesthetic. <laughs> so they didn't even take it. <laughs> Just, they failed. When the Yoshis came to, they found that the gems were missing, something like that. Oh, the poor Yoshis seem to be lost. It's going too fast. Oh my, the dream gems, they're all gone. The sun dream stone isn't looking too hot. What a tragedy, someone better find those gems before Kamek and Baby Bowser get to them. Thanos? <laughs> I mean, they seemed like peaceful gems. Wonder where this path leads. Maybe it'll pave the way to the gems. Looks like the Yoshis are sorting out who should go on this mission. Oh, one. I can pick the Yoshi color. And we can go classic. <laughs> I'll go like the, the extremely mellow Yoshi. And, I mean, to be honest, like from Super Mario World, this, this is the Yoshi to go. It is. The one that gets the wings, but I guess that's not the case here. We'll just go classic for now. I'll be boring. It's settled then. The rest of the Yoshis will stay and protect the Sun Dream Stone. It'll be safe and sound. The journey to find the gems begins. That thing looks like it's seen better days. Without its gems, it seems the stone has lost all of its power. Useless. Then we'd better get moving and find the gems before the Yoshis do. There we go. 
I mean, I guess it's just established that um, they live in a world that's crafted. Oh, I can probably play this with a D-pad. Okay, it seems like it's... It's playable with a D-pad. <laughs> you know, one thing I, I can't say I ever got used to... is the noise Yoshi makes when he's doing that jump. Right, so it's like exactly the same as Yoshi's Island. This, this noise. I mean, when you compare it to the noises that Yoshi made from the Super Nintendo games, I was just always weirded out by that noise. Everything else is fine. can definitely, um, get used to it. It's, it's just, no matter how many times I hear it, that noise will just never sound right to me. I mean, tutorial. Oh, it doesn't do the thing. Oops. Uh-oh. But, I want to murder that. Oh, well. Don't think you notice, really? I mean, Yoshi was primarily silent. What game, like, what game was it different in, or what game did it start making this sound in? It was pretty much from the Super Nintendo that it, Yoshi just sounded different. And then the Nintendo 64 brought this Yoshi, which has been the Yoshi since. You still on from Yoshi's Island? It never, it never made the sound in Yoshi's Island though. It was more like a, like a sound effect. I guess it depends with Yoshi's Island, because there was a Game Boy Advance version of the game, and it's possible it may have sounded like this. But. Yeah, I think Smash Brothers was like the first time it became this. I don't know, I, I noticed that it just sounded weird. Now that I know you can shoot. Look, there's another cow. I'm gonna bully the cow. <laughs> bully all the cows. Whoops. Superstar Saga, I just... I still think of Luigi's reaction to Yoshi laying the egg. You know? This, 
foreground background thing is interesting. <laughs> I like the art style. If you think you're going to find any gems, think again. In fact, you'll never even leave this place. Without a working train, you're dead in your tracks. Good luck finding the missing parts. Oh. I mean this? Okay, so the eggs are magical and can... Oops. No, don't throw that. That's bad, Yoshi. The teal egg? The blue egg? That's different. I missed the flower. I, I, I'm not having any of that. Inner child is screaming. Go get the flower! You're not finishing the stage. Without all the flowers. Where did I miss one? Unless it's in this area as well. sound effect. Okay, no, we're fine. It's fine. I haven't missed anything. Two more red coins. Storing eggs. Okay, that's 20. There we go. We're good. We just need one more egg now. I keep thinking that like a coin's gonna come out of the yellow egg, but it doesn't seem like it does anything. Oh, it's a co it's coffee. It's like a milk carton, um, cardboard, and coffee. I, mean, I guess the eating worked. Just thinking from a thumbnail point of view. Oh, that might be nice. I see it. I see it. Hey! Hey! 
Frank! <laughs> what the? It didn't aim. Oh, that's annoying. It didn't aim into the background. I was pressing the button. It won't let me take the train ride again, will it? Go back. Back? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's shameful. so bad there's bonus flowers okay I oh, know I'm, I'm absolutely getting everything <laughs> restart game I mean yeah it's like to that level I can't let that slide. I hope I don't have to recollect the other ones, and it's just a matter of getting the missing one. This looks so visually nice, though. Again, showing can have nice looking Switch games. Okay, I thought that might have been a secret if I took that out, but nope. It also doesn't look like I have to recollect the flower, so that's good. I just need to not miss. It just didn't want to aim for the background. I don't know why. sure I have enough eggs. Seemed like a little, a little clunky. Okay, so see there, it's doing it. I guess if the target picks it up, then it's aiming for it. I mean, can't I just hit it from a distance? I think that's where the problem was. There we go. I tried to aim for it too soon and it just assumed I wasn't aiming in that direction. I will try my hardest not to let that happen again. What is that? 
What's it gonna be? Insert a coin and turn the lever to make a costume roll out. You'll never know what you got. Okay. Is this just something I'm not gonna 100% just because of this? Oh, this looks cute. I'll get two. The art style. Gift box. Mountain. Wear costume to look cool, but most importantly, protect yourself. But they break down with damage, so be careful out there. Oh. <laughs> I'm a mountain. I'll get another one, why not? Orange juice box. You know, in a in a dystopian alternate universe, these would all all be paid for. Uh, I'm wiped out. If only I had a smiley flower. Oh, it's a currency. Crap. Thank you. I feel good as new. Allow me to open this area for you. Just a sec. Welcome to Yarktopus Docks. Phew, I so feel so much better after that smiley flower. I'm Finn, the flower fan. Finn Blockefeller, if you're feeling normal. How do you do? Yeah, she is. Out. What are you doing here? In search of gems, huh? Hmm, well, I did see something shimmering in the sky that landed not far from here. Let me see. Pretty sure it fell somewhere over there. Just follow this road and you'll be sure to find it. Best of luck. The other one I wanted to play as well was the Wii U one, which is the Wooly World. Yahoo! It's one that I, I missed. Because it did not have a Wii U. You can't eat Koopa. Is everything just going to be a variation of the first song? I hope not. <laughs> I do like you can interact with the background. Otherwise, just, you know, it's going to get stuck in my head. I could go check that, but I know that all it's going to tell me is that's how you pound. It's so cute. Yeah, the art style is really, really nice. Oh, whoa. <laughs> nope. I mean, I, l I like the Yoshi series. Oh, 
it was something that I never understood it, but there were people that just felt insecure about playing it for some reason. Just it was seen as a baby game to some, and I was like, what? Game's great. Same with Kirby. Kirby falls in that boat of just, like, idiots making fun of people who play it that aren't kids. <laughs> on what kind of people you have around you. Well, I'm talking specifically like when I was in still school and, you know, you didn't get to choose who was around you. It was just, you know, you're in a situation where just because of the place you have to go to every day, there's certain people that you have to uh, interact with, whether you like it or not. As an adult, Anyone that has that kind of thinking, I, I have basically zero interaction with, so it's not a problem. But it still exists, like... Oh. This thing is dangerous. to hide all kinds of stuff you liked when you were younger to avoid negativity. Yeah, see, that sucks. I didn't hide it, I was just like, <laughs> leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> just... I can laugh about it now, but definitely I was just... combative, let's say. Present in the background. I'll tell you one thing I'm glad we didn't really get much of here was the whole Sega versus Nintendo thing. Because those ads just didn't run here. Those were specific to America, the whole Genesis thing. Neither there. Yeah. It was purely an American ad campaign, so there was no, like, extreme fanboyism between Sega and Nintendo. Because that was something some of my American friends told me, was, like, people made... People that had Sega consoles made fun of people that had Nintendo consoles, because they were seen as, like, baby games. Everyone was excited no matter what console someone had. Gatekeeping came later. It was pretty much Xbox versus PlayStation. That was the worldwide one. At that point, that's where, yeah, the tribalism was global. And just everyone having the feeling like they needed to justify the thing they decided to, to buy. And if anyone made you question that choice, you just had to fight back. That's pretty much all it was. I mean, I thought the original S Xbox was conceptually cool. It seemed like this alien futuristic thing. Honestly, the, the less you know about console wars, the better. Just I always say it, just use whatever works for you. Just... And let people use what works for them. Is there a path for- oh, down.
PlayStation versus Xbox, both sides are wrong. I think taking any side is wrong. Just let people use what they like. As someone that, like, came from a family where money was often tied at times, it's like, having a console was the only way I could play games, because getting a computer that was good enough to run some of the games that other people were playing was just not feasible. And so, like, that's, that's just another form of gatekeeping. Oh, what's that? You're not using a computer? The computer's the best way to play games. Why aren't you using a computer? Uh, because we need food to survive. Yeah, but the computer, why are you playing on a console? You're casual. Did I get everything? Two red coins. All right, well, we're not having any of that. What? Ooh, that was close. Where did I miss it? There's probably something in the background. The loyalty thing, it's not that people are loyal to brands, it's just... It's a human thing, it's almost like a form of insecurity. It's just... If you have someone... Questioning the choices you've personally made... Whether that be, like, purchases, or just anything in general. Like, you feel like you need to defend yourself. And sometimes people take it to the extreme of just defaulting that, you know, the other choice is the bad choice, because I made the correct choice. And if I haven't made the correct choice, then I don't want to know that I've made the correct choice. You've made the, the worst choice, I haven't. And that's what it comes down to, pretty much, is just... I don't think anyone is truly loyal to a brand, like, fundamentally. I think it's just they want to... They don't want to get into a position where, you know, they feel embarrassed about the choice they made. <laughs> if it's inferior. So they overcompensate, they talk their choice up, and they make the other choice seem like a bad choice. When really, it's, it's not. There we go. That's all it is. And you can boil that down to any any sort of rivalry. It's just people being people at the end of the day. I'm sure th there are certain things that definitely have that a true, like, you know, people are loyal and... The reason they say the other option is bad is because they do genuinely like what they have. But it also comes from just that place of, like, feeling like you made the best choice and not regretting your choice. stage was nice looking. Yeah, this game just exudes charm. I think I'd play something light-hearted. To wrap up the week. I want more costumes. This animation is cool. Oh, rare. It reminds me of um, just old cartoon shows. I got the steam train. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I like that. It has 10 costumes, so I guess I can collect them all. I kind of like the cow. I mean, don't get me wrong, the train is nice. <laughs> kind of like the cow. Yahoo! Am I going to have to grind coins to get all of these costumes? not bad. Okay, so the machine will eventually be empty. Pirate PR. Sorry, but the cow thing looks so good. How can you be how can you be someone that's cynical towards this game and people enjoying it if they're not kids? Like I don't I don't get it. I'm not playing sports games, that's why. I'll be playing sports in Call of Duty every year. That's the games I should be playing. Oh, it's this thing. <laughs> I think stuff like this is honestly good for the soul. It just connects you with your childhood. Oops. Hey! Pretty unattractive to shit on people's parades in general. Yeah, I mean, the thing is. You got a mix of people that agree with that, and a mix of people that just believe it's the case. I mean, things are better than they used to be, like... Growing up, gaming was a big minority compared to what it is now. So, it's more normalized these days, and that kind of thinking is just becoming more and more outdated, and just... I've said this before, I feel like I was born, <laughs> like, ten years too early, you know? Some people enjoy negging. I mean, I see it as more just the old mentality of only nerds play games and the current mentality where 
there are people that think just because you watch games or people playing- Whoa, what the hell? I'm out of eggs. Damn. <laughs> I'm starting it again. I'm not having that happen. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's boom mentality necessarily. It's just... I think even outside the whole... The whole, uh, like, gaming thing, there's still a sentiment of, like, if you're not enjoying... If sports isn't the main thing you enjoy, then you're a nerd, basically. There's still that. And that's outside of gaming. Soon, no. No matter how much they want that to be a thing. It's not so much a it's not so much a boomer attitude, it's more just Again, it's just the whole like insecurity thing. I think it just comes from a place where for some reason they just have to shit on something they don't personally do. Because they need to make the thing they see they do be the status quo and the norm and that people that don't do that are the weird ones. When when you boil everything down to like ones and zeros, it's like you get the same the the same things happen to your brain when you enjoy things, whether it be gaming or sports or whatever. It doesn't matter. Like it still ticks the same boxes in your brain. So just let people enjoy what they enjoy. Okay, I need to make sure I have eggs. I mean, basically, people that enjoy sports to the level where they're following players and all that stuff very closely, like, they're basically nerds. They're sports nerds. Like, any sort of intimate knowledge. Fundamentally, they are a nerd. Oh. Did, did I get it? No. Crap. I kept bouncing. Third time's the charm. My younger self will not allow me to finish this stage without getting everything. Just reminds me too much of Yoshi's Island. It's alright, one day... That mentality is... it'll vanish. I just, I don't want to get myself into a situation where I'm, like, hiding this thing I enjoy just because the person I'm with doesn't enjoy it. I've seen that happen. I know people that have partners that don't enjoy gaming. 
or like gaming related things or being nerdy and they just like put this artificial barrier up for them like oh you're not allowed to do this for extended amounts of time I mean responsibilities are responsibilities right that's fair but sometimes it's a case of, oh, you're doing this too much because I've arbitrarily decided that you're doing this too much. Not because you need to be doing something. It's just, I don't understand the thing you enjoy, and I don't want you to do it as much. Because I want you to do the thing that I enjoy instead. It's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, it is. So it's honestly like the first thing I look for is like the people I get along with the most they have to be nerdy in some regard it doesn't matter what but then at least they have the understanding of like being into something doesn't matter what versus someone that isn't and sure they might be a nice person but then when it comes to like that topic eventually comes up inevitably it just always does and without that understanding it's just it always is a disaster there we go Gaming or time management? What do you mean? I, I, I guess full sentence of what you want me to explain. Just the I, if you're talking about like the understanding, it's more just being accepting is probably the better word. The topic always comes up. Well, the topic comes up of like, hey, you're doing this too much. We're not spending time together. Or you should do this less. And it's not because you're doing it an excessive amount, it's just... Because they don't understand how you can enjoy that, it's just like, well, they're spending too much time on it. It's, it's usually it's usually independent of like responsibilities right it's fair enough to bring that stuff in responsibilities but when it's just like let's say you're on top of your responsibilities and it's more of a like hobby and free time thing it's just the time box. I mean, I'm just speaking generally, uh, nothing specific, but I will say when it when it comes to like the dating world, that's that's usually a, a red flag I, I find. <laughs> when there's just like when you talk about what you enjoy doing, and then there's always like this l judgmental look. They don't say anything. They're polite. They smile a lot, but then you know, oh yeah, they're not they're not into games. This is probably going to be a problem at some point. Or just not into anything nerdy, really. And I've, I've just seen... Just some people that have... 
have gone through a relationship, a long-term relationship, and then the ultimate reason it ends is just because of a difference like that. That, t that blows up into a bigger thing. Just because it's just, you know, the fundamental understanding and patience isn't there. Who died and made what you want, Trump, everyone else's wants and needs. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, it just comes down to what's deemed as a societal norm, and it's just... I guess in the age group I'm in, it's still... No matter how much gaming and nerdy culture is more acceptable these days, the fact of the matter is, the people in my age group are still, like in the age group that grew up where that wasn't the case. <laughs> so... A flatfish? What? Toss an egg at the sucker. I... Oh. What is this? Okay. Anyway, I don't know what, like, what brought me onto this conversation, but it's just... I think it, it... It comes to mind when... I just come across someone... That either, like, you know... Makes that face that I'm talking about when you, when you say that... You play games and stuff and do it as a hobby. Or, like, this, the Twitch streaming thing as well. Or, I just see it where... someone is just, like, being restricted and doing the thing they enjoy. And it's... when it's within reason, of course, like, again, responsibilities are responsibilities and you shouldn't... put your responsibilities aside to, like, do the things you enjoy. That's... Yeah, like, responsibilities... As long as responsibilities are handled, I don't see any reason why someone should be like, Hey, spend less time doing this. Because I wouldn't do that to them either. Oh. Bonus flower. Flowers draw a smile on just about everyone's face. If someone's feeling low, just hand them some flowers. That'll do the trick. I've got another request. I'd love some flightless goonies. I think six should do the trick. Oh. Bonus objectives. Okay. I kind of wish I knew these up front so I could do it all at once. craziest situation I know is, um, I mean, an ex-work colleague of mine, a very long time ago, you know, he, uh, he is a big nerd, the person, his partner was not, you know, they seem to get along okay, but then, it was a case of, like, <laughs> His partner would hide his computer's power cable. And the guy wasn't, like, doing anything, at least in my eyes. Like, who knows what happens behind closed doors, right? But it was in the era where we played a lot of games together. So whenever he was playing games, it was generally with us. So he didn't really play excessive amounts, but, you know... 
sometimes you wouldn't see him for about a week and then he'd be like, oh yeah, the missus hid the power cable. She wanted to do this. And it's just... I just, I don't understand how someone can be like that. The funny thing is, like, you, as crazy as that sounds, it's not an isolated case. It's, I know m more than a couple people that have had something similar happen to them. Like, just people that are passive-aggressive and just think any sort of... Any sort of nerdiness is, like, a bad thing. I wonder if that lake underneath me is, is instant death. You can get sad if you want to hang out and do something and your partner's not into that at the time, but that's just life. I mean, you can't be into everything that your partner's into. Like, that's the thing. I mean, sometimes you can get a situation where you're into the exact same stuff, but it's like, it's a balance. It's... There'll be things that you both enjoy, there'll be things only one of you enjoy, but as long as... It's... Equality in terms of being able to enjoy the things you enjoy, you know? I'm always willing to try things, even if it's outside of what I usually normally do. I'll try it, and if it's not my thing, I'll just be like, yeah, it's, it's not my thing. But I, I won't flat out be like, nah. Why would you want to do that for? I think there's one more. Communication is key, pretty much, and just... Being understanding. This has to be it. No? Really? There's still one more? Oh boy. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. It's not those ones. It's the wingless ones. Okay. Well, I have more work to do. I think the whole, like, putting someone you care about first, the caveat to that is, like, provided they do the same for you. Because... When it's one-sided, and it's just, like, an expectation that is heavily weighed towards one party, it fucking sucks. Like, you know, like, let's say the person meets you halfway only... Six out of ten times versus you, that's like nine out of ten times, and that's it's not great. <laughs> Damn it, this one. Oh, wait. No, it's gonna be tricky. I have to hit it whilst 
Oh. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> there's... You know, this conversation is like, there's a reason why a lot of... A lot of countries, the, the divorce rate is kind of uh, reaching beyond 50% and is heading towards 60. I'm not saying there's a correlation with what I'm talking about, but I think... Oh my god. Got it. <laughs> I think there's part responsibility for what I'm talking about. That was close. Alright, where are the other ones? There's a Norwegian song called I Hate Seagulls. What genre is it out of interest? Please tell me it's a heavy metal song, that'd be great. <laughs> it's folk, damn it. To me, it felt like, you know... There are some heavy metal bands that are just funny, and they just make music like that. Or punk. There's like the, the classic Australian band. I have to say classic now because... They're not old, they're not boomer classic, but I guess in the context of now, they're kind of classic. But you know, the, the I'm on smoke song, which is just, I'm on smoke break, so leave me alone. And that's the whole song. Great song. Very funny topic. quit smoking a couple years ago. Yeah. I'm I'm grateful that I've never been in a position where I've been in a job where like, you know, you get rewarded for smoking by getting a break. It's just like, oh, this person gets a five minute break, but that's just because they smoke. Everyone else, back to work. Another request? Crabs. Three should do the trick. Ocean floor. Have a look in... Okay. As a person who gets overwhelmed, it was a godsend. I mean, it's just... I get it. You use what you use to cope, but... A lot of it's just... It's a nervous habit. It's like when people bite their fingernails. Pretty much for the same reasons. I don't... When it comes to smoking, it's like, I don't... <sighs> How should I put it? It's To me, I think that the thing that I don't like about it is more just the smell more than anything else. Just like an aura. And it's just a smell that I just... I can't bring myself to be around too much. It's just... I don't know. It affects me. The waft, yeah. 
and it's just... The house, the car, it just has that same aura. If someone's smoking around me, I, that for some reason that's fine if it's like in enough of a space where that isn't the default environment, but when you go into a smoker's environment, that's when it sucks. Like, I never make someone feel shitty for smoking, right, and get on my high horse about, like, health and all that stuff. It's like, at the end of the day, we all have our vices that, you know, when done in an extended amount of time, probably contribute to our death, one way or another. So, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm better. But I will be honest when I say, you know, like, just in general, that stuff, I just... It's not that it makes me sick, it just, it's not a... It, I don't feel right around it. We're looking for crabs, I haven't seen any crabs. Oh. Massive crab. I think the stage is really cool. Octopus face. I mean, this thing, this, this is pretty, pretty easy. And apparently, there was an easier game mode on offer. But Yoshi has a lot of health. Especially when you take into account the, uh, the cow, the, the craft that, you, that you're wearing. to be here. Come on, where is it? There's not a whole lot left of the stage. There you are. I do like that it lets you exit the course right away.
No more? Okay. Wait. I'm wiped out. If only I had five smileys. Yep. There you go. Thanks, that really put a spring in my step. <laughs> Welcome to Gogo -Go Land. Hang on, what was... Alright. Well, I mean, I may as well buy eight costumes. Alright, here we go. I love this animation. Chili bar? Water wheel. Beesh. Lighthouse. Bottle cap. Blowfish. Not a thing. I used to think creamer was just milk, but it's not. We don't have that in Australia. Clownfish. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> what is that? No, I like my cow. It's a little too, uh, too jiggly for my liking. should get a uh, woolly world. Woolly world is pretty much like this, except with wool. I think outside, outside of that, the only other Yoshi game I didn't play was the DS one. Played was Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island was good though. <laughs> they had Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Story, then Yoshi's Island DS, which is not a like remake. It's a whole. It's its own thing. Then Yoshi's Woolly World and 
I think Yoshi's craftable. I think that's it. There might be another one in there somewhere that I'm forgetting about. I remember this one came out at a weird time, so... It was one of those things where it went on sale and then I just never streamed it. I played it a, a bit, but then just didn't get through it. Is Super Mario- is a Super Mario world that you dump him to get the goal? I mean, <laughs> you can get the goal without dumping them. It's not like you have, you have to get rid of Yoshi. But yeah, like... There's the, uh, that song that someone made of just... Mario always dumping Yoshi. <laughs> hey, cat. How's it going? Yeah, I wanted to go through some of the older games in my backlog that I just never finished or didn't get around to, so this is one of them. And I was feeling like something very wholesome. Oh, I can't. Okay. I mean, the two Super Nintendo games, one was like... You know, Yoshi would get ditched and the other one was just Baby Mario screaming like a banshee. I'm out of eggs! Okay, there we go. I feel like this game came out and then people kind of forgot about it. Or Nintendo maybe did, because outside of the... They kind of just dropped it... ...as a surprise, and then I remember there wasn't a whole lot else they showed of it. It sort of just released and that was it. It may have been because Animal Crossing just, like... I think Animal Crossing was after this one. Do the colored eggs... I'm not sure they do anything. <laughs> Pretty darn cute, eh? Yeah. This came out the year before Animal Crossing, All right. All I remember is they didn't talk too much about this game. Oh. Hey, you got the flower. I... It got announced there was a trailer for it, and then it released. That was it. There may have been one other mention of it.
Go, doggo, go. <laughs> There's a black sheep. I hit the black sheep. the shy guys uh they're they're enemies but they're also props to the stage One flower missing. Where? There it is. Coins twenty out of fifteen out of twenty. Missing coins. I miss so many coins. <laughs> Snowman's. Is it the sheep, maybe? No. I see, I see, I see. There's another one. Alright. I really have to pay attention to the foreground and background. Please tell me I can keep going back. Thank you, doggo. Hmm. Hmm. 
the swirls of the path are aesthetically pleasing. Oh no, it's great. Just another example of why I refuse to accept that Pokemon can't make their games look nicer. Huh. Well, I'm still missing four coins. to be my eyes as well. <laughs> Anything that looks out of place. Or a shy guy. Preferably a shy guy. I mean, that's not gonna give me a red coin. that's gonna be anything. Like, I was carrying a coin and I got the coin. Alright, well, there it goes. Where could I have missed it? See it. It's the only thing I can think of doing, but I don't think it's that either. How am I missing four coins? Gucci, please. The only thing I can think of is maybe the... Because the Shy Guys do have a coin and maybe... I remember them flipping the coin from one side to the other. So maybe I have to hit them when they're showing a particular side of the coin. I don't know. But otherwise, I swear I've been everywhere. me a little bit that I haven't found them. What's Stoggo doing? That's it. What? <laughs> Where are the coins? How are there four coins? Uh, I, I looked everywhere. I might have to do the stage again. <laughs> Just... I don't get how I miss them. If 
fast attack, I guess it'd probably be the Shy Guy thing, but... What will you do? Go find them. <laughs> An interesting thing, it's like the reverse side of the world and you have to find the dogs as quick as you can. This is a clever way to recycle a level. See all the detail as well from the opposite side. <laughs> like that. Okay, there's the last one. That's it. This is a Switch game? Yeah, it is. It's the, uh, the latest one in, I guess, this series. I find it strange that they do so much with Kirby, but not much with this series, even though I kind of see them as, as pretty equal. Kirby gets so many games by comparison. sure a Switch is worth it just for this one game. I mean, there's other games as well. There's Animal Crossing, there's Mario, there's just a whole backlog of Nintendo games at this point. Bring the three to the goal within five minutes. Alright, that was easy. Completionism. Alright. I need to find these four coins or it's going to bother me. <laughs> I looked everywhere. I did. Ah, Alright. Hey, hey Colrun, how's it going? Alright. Eagle eyes. Just be on the lookout if I... I miss out on something obvious. What I got the feeling it's gonna be one of those question mark cloud thingies. I'll sleep till 6.30, so that's a plus. 
Oh man, I just would not be able to exist without a heart. We're looking for red coins. There are four that I don't collect. So they, they kind of look like that one there. Sometimes you can tell they're a red coin. Other times you can't. Okay, now it happens anyway. I thought that might have been it. Like, what if I had to hit it with the, uh, the stage? Yeah, I mean, Friday was alright. It's just work. Bit sad don't get the public holiday, but oh well. <laughs> That was honestly like what, what most people were talking about, just no public holiday. There's still one more game for Australia to play, but it's like for third place. doing anything fun. I'm uh, gonna catch up with my brothers on Sunday, but other than that, not really. I gotta clean. I got one of those annoying inspection thingies that they do. Just to make sure I haven't destroyed the house. Pretty much all I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. They do inspections. Yep. It's like a pretty regular thing. They just. You can choose to like bring up maintenance at those points, or they just pretty much check that the house is in good shape and there isn't uh, damage or bad shit. I have yet to see a red coin that I've missed. It's on. It's pretty standard here. Just if you're renting, that's just what happens. Maybe I should just take out all the shy guys. You never know. once a year? No. Multiple times a year. It depends on the real estate agent. There was one where it was like once every two months, which was a bit annoying. This one seems to be like a couple times a year, sometimes three. Sorry, I mean, they're generally good, it's just... If I need to ask for something, they do take their time, but that's just all of them, in general. It's just... If you need something, they take their time. If they want something, you have to do it right away.
like how it took, uh... <laughs> So at least seven months to just... Oh, hey. I want to put... Acoustic foam in this room. Seven months of asking. Perseverance paid off. Yeah, I mean, the audio quality is a lot better, but it's just something that I just wish the process was not what it was. I'm just thankful that, you know, they are, as annoying as this is, they are pretty chill compared to the, uh, the ones at the place that I used to live at. one inspection the guy was complaining that there was garbage in in the living room and uh, my friend she showed me the email I was like what the fuck garbage and the guy sends a picture and it's like a single empty bottle that was um just next to a recycling container And so, you know, I call the guy, and I tell him, so, um, you know, what's this about g garbage? He's like, oh, yeah, um, you know, just, you guys sh should just keep the place clean, because, uh, you never know when the owner might want to take a look. I'm like, alright, first of all, it was an empty container, it was recycling. It was an empty bottle. It's not like the place was filled with garbage, was it? Like, when you say garbage, you kind of infer that there were bags of trash everywhere, which there was not. Secondly, like, no place is pr absolutely pristine. Like, all of us work full-time jobs, and the cleaning is usually on a weekend. Properly, you should understand that as someone who also works full time. So, if this is going to be a problem going forward, well, we're going to have to have a formal chat about it with whoever uh, runs your real estate agency because it's not within reason to ask for that, and it's Australian law that you can't ask for that sort of shit on a whim. And then the guy, basically, if he if he saw that I was home during inspections, he, the guy just, uh, would... Shortest inspection ever. It was like five minutes in and out. I would try to avoid talking to me. So from then on, any time we had a house inspection, I just stayed home. I worked from home. Because the guy got into trouble, basically. <laughs> they do inspections when you're not home? Yep. They have a key to the property, generally speaking, and then they're like, on this date, they have to give, like, a week's notice, at least. 
So you can choose to be at the inspection or you can choose to not be at it. Be paranoid that's still something not really a concern here. I mean, you don't really get a choice, that's just how it is to rent in Australia. Like, good luck trying to rent a place where they don't have a real estate manager. The thing is, right, Australia has a government body that, like, handles those sort of things. Like, if you believe that your real estate manager is being dodgy, you can report them to this government agency, and then they get tremendous amounts of fines if they, uh are found guilty of whatever it is they're doing, or not doing, or like, misrepresenting the rights you have. So... It's generally fine. Where on earth are these coins? Like, I haven't found a single one. It's still 16 out of 20. I got a landlord that insists on coming into your apartment every month to check up on the apartment. That is not normal legal here unless the tenant allows it. Yeah, like, at the end of the day, it's an agreement that you have to come to, and it's... I think here the law is the absolute soonest you can go visit and it's only under emergency circumstances is like 48 hours otherwise it's deemed trespassing even if they own the property plant cameras. I mean, it's just worrying about the worst case scenario. It's... It's a whole bunch of things. Like, what if they take your toothbrush and just put it in the toilet? Like, if you're going to worry about cameras, you may as well worry about that scenario. I guess in the case of that, it would just be the prevention is just being present at the inspection and just following them from room to room. And you have the right to do that. That's just annoying if it's every month. Well, that's in the extreme circumstance. It, it varies. It, it really depends. I think it depends how much the landlord wants to pay the real estate agent. Like, I think... Most just go a couple of months. Three months sometimes. Like, I would imagine they just pay by the number of ins inspections they guarantee per year. Dude, what the hell? Where are these coins? The worst thing that happened while you weren't home, they had to do something. There's something with the windows. 
<laughs> they what? They plopped on your adult clothes on the side because the bed was in the way. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. I guess as long as you didn't have to talk to the person. It's the only part that makes it awkward. I I get the feeling I have to I have to take out a, a shy guy. I mean, there are terrible people in the world. And that, that shit does happen. But, you know, the thing is, if you're renting, you don't have a choice. That's just how it is. I mean, the thing is here, if it's through a real estate manager, it's, it's usually not dodgy. It's more when you go into a private rental agreement, that's when, yeah, I, you could argue that, like, all that stuff happens. But, you know, where I rent, I'm, I'm convinced that the person that owns this house or apartment just isn't in the country. <laughs> that's generally, that's the other thing about Australia is, like, there are a lot of people, a lot of uh, people outside of Australia that have bought apartments in Australia and they just rent them. So... I'm convinced, like, six out of ten properties, people that own them aren't even in the country when it comes to rentals. Talk to them before you knew, like once you got home, they were wrapping up and they told you what they did with the window. You were like, okay, but then you went to your room and you were uh, <laughs> you're well I mean they were adults about it, I guess. It's just At the end of the day it's like we're all adults, right? Unless it was something um like that was a bit on the uncommon side, then that would be the only circumstance where it would be, yeah, maybe a little, a little more awkward than normal. I'm losing my mind, chat. I don't know where the fuck these coins are. I'm going to have to murder every shy guy, aren't I? I don't think they were playing with it, well... As long as they weren't playing with it, that would be awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> lose my mind. Where is the... Where are the coins? That's good. I'm going to hate the answer for where these coins are. <laughs> Try moving the bed. 
I'm afraid of what I might uncover. No, they're, they're definitely somewhere, I just don't know where. Is this going to be a case of just hit everything until I get success? Start of the level. All right. I might have to look this up. <laughs> Not kidding. What if it's a foreground thing? I'm looking more in the foreground than the background now. This wouldn't bother me so much if this just didn't remind me of Yoshi's Island so much to the point where I just... I have to 100% this. hitting everything. Maybe hidden behind the cloud or something. The answer is going to be simple, and I'm going to hate it. That's just usually how it is. is if something takes an extreme amount of time, it means the answer is going to be very minor, and something small that you overlooked. Oh, I was like. I thought for a sec that was going to be it when the coins popped out, not gonna lie. Tired, tired of hearing the recorder. I knew someone that used to play recorder. And it's not that they were good at it, it's just they had a recorder and would just play it very loudly and it was just off pitch and very grating. I can listen to the recorder, it's just for an extended amount of time it starts sounding just worse and worse. <laughs> it's kind of reaching the point now where I'm just imagining someone playing the recorder extremely obnoxiously loud. The sound of that recorder is getting louder and louder by the second. What the hell, man? <laughs> I've checked the whole stage. I've never played recorder in school. Like, I think we did xylophone and piano, but no recorder.
I'm looking for anything that could be hidden. Losing it. I've I've hit basically everything. Oh, there's one more shy guy over there. Okay, still not it. <sighs> I'm going to have to look this up. Like this is insane. This, it, I I haven't struggled in a level so far to find anything. This is the end of the stage. What do you mean? Where is it? What's the name of the stage? Poochie's tape trail is 16 out of 20. I red coins. I mean, there's a guide here. Coins by the sheep. Oh, I swear if it's this. Okay. All oh, right, I can't go that way. This is gonna be half, half the stream. It's just me on this one stage. And I still wanna get to Animal Crossing. <laughs> just let me. <laughs> Do this. Because today the uh, the new building they were making should be ready. And I think my shop should be upgraded as well. Nah, once Animal Crossing gets its claws into you, it's kind of hard to stop playing it. I want to go back to the the club. <laughs> Playing at the moment. Uh, yeah, the fishing is is a process. It'll take a while. Pretty much gonna be as I feared. It's gonna be like a hidden. Oh, 
something here. Okay, I'm looking at this guy again. Sorry, chat. Did the blue coin thing. Behind the fence, got it. Got the flower. Right, did she? It's fine. the hell? <laughs> I followed this from end to end. How have I not gotten it? I might have to just give up, give up on this and come back to it. Like this, like I can't be on this one stage. <laughs> how am I? How? I've, I've taken out everything. It's, ugh, it's gonna be somewhere dumb. Alright, I'm gonna walk to the end. If I don't find it, that's it. We're just moving on. That's fine. I'll, I'll come back to it. I don't want to drive people crazy. Checking every little part of this. Hurry up. If it was one coin, I'd be more understanding, but it's four. How is it four? One coin I'd be less annoyed about because it's just like, alright, it's some it's somewhere, but this has the potential to be two spots that I've missed somehow. And I I don't know how. Uh oh. A wholesome game, but right now it's making me feel a little dumb by not finding this.
you know the strange thing is, like, I have this feeling of deja vu, like this happened to me. Is that? Oh, I was about to lose it. <laughs> okay, there was nothing. The song gets catchy. I think the song is nice, but it's just the longer it goes, the longer it just gets louder. It's getting very loud. Desperation, <laughs> throwing random eggs at things. I looked everywhere. Oh, fuck it. Next stage. <laughs> I'm over it. Next. I don't understand how I would have missed those coins. Unless... Oh, I'll, I'll check it later, but maybe it's one of these things where there's... In Yoshi's Island, there were flying Shy Guys that if you didn't get to them quick enough, they would fly away. What if that's the case? Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself feel better. I did that stage so much that I got a thousand coins. Kill a truck. The snails. Purple truck. Trash bin. Grass. 
<laughs> I don't know if anything's gonna beat the cat. Oh, I still think the cow's better. Oh, I read that as derpy sheep. <laughs> It's a derpy sheep, that's what it is. Alright, let's just move on. Cow is still the best, I think, but I want to try the sheep. Nine thousand equals. Oh, it's right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is adorable. charge it. I'm destroying someone's hard work, clearly. Like someone went to the painstaking effort of building this town. Reminds me of the giant mode in New Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> oh, there's plenty more. Shy guys running for their life. No mercy from Yoshi. Wow. Oh, I gotta do better than that. Alright. I got I wasn't using the charge attack right away, so. I mean, that's what I got from not reading the instructions. Just get more of a multiplier. You hit a lot of things at once.
Also, that thing's probably the most important thing to hit. Ooh, that was close. I would assume I'm doing better. the most important one to get. Um, I don't even know how I did. I wasn't paying attention to the score. If I'm off by 500, I know where I missed. Ah, oh, damn it. I needed to hit that thing. Alright, I know where I missed. It's still six red coins missing. I bet it's probably the shy guys that have them. Alright, try again. I can I can get the uh the point one at the very least. The coin one there, let's just not, <laughs> not stress too much about that one for now. That's what it is, it's the signs. So if I miss the signs, then I'm gonna miss it. There we go. Alright, got him. 20 out of 20. As long as I don't mess this up. She's a very vengeful creature. That's not gonna- yeah, if I miss- I miss the same one again. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna fall short if I miss that one. I hope I don't have to collect the red coins again. Oh, I have to collect the red coins again. I should have finished. Okay, it's fine. I, I know where they are now. Not too bad, because it's one of the ones at the start. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay, that was the important one to get. Good. Still got two. Gotta not mess up the crucial part. Ooh, I wonder if that's gonna. Ugh. Well, I got I got the important one. It's just a question of whether that flower is gonna count for anything. Okay, nine thousand. We're good. Fun stage. The important thing is I cut all the red coins. I'm gonna have to sit here and wonder. You have more stuff for me to do, don't you? Crown. Okay, so the frog crown is in here. It is here. Because I'm a sucker for punishment, I can look for the red coin in the guise of getting that crown. Don't learn, do I? It's okay. Once I get the crown, that's that's it. It's got it's got to be something highly specific that I just haven't done. I just refuse to believe that I missed something so blatant. hitting the 20. Okay, it's not. 
I really don't know. normal coins. What if this... What if it's this? What if this has some gotcha to it? I don't think it was that anyway. I did that. I 100% did that properly. Well, we're pretty much up to the frog part anyway. Uh, I wasn't expecting to find the coins. Whoa. That was weird. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Alright, well, that's... That's it. That's... Exit calls. I'm not gonna look for the red coins. It's fine. Found me a crown. Thanks. I present you with this. Flowers draw a smile on just about anyone's face. If someone's feeling low, just hand them some flowers. That'll do the trick. I've got another request. Some derby sheep. Not derpy sheep. Okay. Well, they're here. Who wants to see more of this stage? I mean, there are... I think I can rule out this initial part. I can pretty much skip past it. Alright, there's one. This will let me go to the end of the stage again, so. I know that's normal coins. Oh, 
I don't know why this has to be so separate. Oh, got it. Okay, well, it's not here. Can roll that out. I'm, I'm gonna have to watch, like, a video of someone getting all the coins on this stage. That's what it's gonna come down to, and I'm just gonna hate where the final four are. If you see anything <laughs> suspicious looking or coin like that I miss, just point it out. thing. Hang on, come back. it in the background. Whoops. <laughs> Doggo. That was... Oh, God. I was waiting for the egg. Two more. <laughs> I just, I'm getting the sheep out of the way. I still have the hope that maybe I'll find the coins. Watching Yoshi games is cozy. Yeah, especially this one. Its art style's great. <laughs> I think that's just a little bit, a little bit. A little bit getting to me is just there are three, four coins somewhere on the stage that I have not found, and I'm not sure why. I, I have gone through the stage multiple times, and I still 
have four four coins missing somehow. Like you would think at one, at one of these these runs, I would see it. The only thing that's just... <sighs> but I can't hit it anyway. I don't know. Right, I just need to find one more black shape, it's fine. <laughs> when I'm done streaming today. I swear I'm just gonna find the video of someone getting all the coins and I'm gonna run through the stage with them. Not even kidding. And then I'll report back on where the coins were. Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island's great. Had that one growing up. I still got my copy. this shape. <laughs> Just a SNES fan girl. Honestly, nothing wrong with that. I think the Super Nintendo produced like some of the most iconic games. It's my favorite controller. Like I, I still say, they got the controller right with that one. Just take the D-pad from the Super Nintendo controller. There's no need to reinvent that over and over again. Oh, there it is, the sound there. All right, got it. Not the coins, the, the sheep. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me right now, not being able to find these four coins. Another request. Pumpkin, I know where it is. I don't need to do... Oh, it's on the flip side, but it, it's on this side as well. Alright, I haven't done the flip side at all, so... The first console on Mars should be a SNES. They can take it that far. I mean, they'd probably take one of the, the SNES minis or something in its place. Okay, I gotta find the poochies. There's one. My favorite t-shirts is <laughs> it's just a black t-shirt with the Super Nintendo logo. That's all it is. Oh. 
It actually plays. Wait, the pumpkin... Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's either here or it's like... One of these hills behind it had it. Hold on. It was like in the foreground of one of these. I can't remember which one. Okay, let's just keep going. The only thing I just have never been able to get used to is just... The sound that he makes when he does that move there. It's never used to make that sound, and then they added it with the Nintendo 64. It's <laughs> such a horrible sound. But otherwise, everything is great. Keep playing because I need to do the poochie thing. I'm kind of doing that a little bit on purpose. Wait, haven't. Oh, I think I've done the stage actually. Yeah, we've done the stage. It's the previous ones I haven't done, so I found... Another flower. I've got another request. A tulip. I found one amongst some other blooming flowers on the flip side of the twisty tape. They just want to keep... <laughs> want me to keep doing this stage. Flip side, okay. Ah, oh, thank you for the four months, Asaya. R appreciate that a lot. I've, I've played the stage collectively for like 40 minutes. Uh, it's no exaggeration. Alright, Tulip. Be on the lookout. I need to get to Animal Crossing and I want to continue Tunic, so... Let's get some of the stuff done. I don't need to collect the doggos, let's just look for the flower. Probably gonna blend in with the colors. All right, that's the pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you can see them lazing about. This makes me want to get some melon soda. That stuff is so good. 
Japanese melon soda. If you haven't had it, it's it's really good. If you have something like a Daiso or I don't know, some other Japanese convenience store chain, but Daiso is the big one. Not a chulip. So it should be around here. This is a fl Oh, there it is. Fresh out of requests. Oh. Alright, let's see where this is going to. Ten. <laughs> Jeez. And I ha here I am with like 50. I've been trying to put my finger on it, but I think I know what this reminds me of. This reminds me of Gumby a little bit. It's a very old kid show. But they had reruns of it when I was a kid. Melon smoothie is good on a hot summer day. Yeah. I've had a pretty good one. In summer. There's a place, a chain in Australia called Boost. They, it's, just, it's a juice bar. They do good stuff. Well, the ones that have crushed ice in it, oh man. Okay. I wanted to see a new stage. I'll see a new stage. Yeah, Gumby and Pokey. The orange horse. And then you had the blocks that were like, they never said anything, but they were just evil. This music, though. I don't know if Yoshi should be <laughs> putting explosives in mouth, but okay. Now you want it? I mean, don't let your dreams be dreams. anything interesting going on this weekend but for work we're going to like a uh it's not called a it's not called a pub it's like i don't know it's, it's a german pub effectively but they do the big glasses of, of beer and they also do like food there and the food's pretty damn good they do these massive platters of, of sausages and, like, mashed potato, sauerkraut, and, uh... This might not sound appetizing to some, but they have pork knuckle. Which is damn good. It's just very, very soft and soft meat. Just the right amount of fattiness. But yeah, the, the, the big mugs. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yoshi! Oh! <laughs> oh, 
salvage. Holy crap. I can't believe I got away with that one. Somehow, I I live. Yeah, it should be hot, but it should be fun. In October, the people that serve there, they dress up and everything. I mean, when you go there, they do they do music and dancing, but it's like yeah, in October that's when you want to go. But I'm looking forward to just eating eating the food. So when it's closer to spring, this one's better to go. <laughs> Down for dancing. I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to, because they're... The way they do it, it's just... I'm outclassed. They are professionals. But it does liven the room quite a bit. I like that fish. Thought so. You want to go to the San Gennaro Festival in the city? What's that? needs to stop being miserable here, that's it. Like, we're almost at the point where it's nice here. Just the time of year when it's not raining and miserable and it's not to the point where things can light on fire. Was the bomb. Oh, it's an Italian festival? Okay. We have something like that here. I mean, we have a, a whole massive street. And when I say street, it's like, it's a main road that's just considered the Italian area. about here. I'm a bit spoilt for choice when it comes to just food in general. I can pretty much take a pick of anything and go find it. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's okay. Box. Box protected me. Wait, what's this? Oh, cart. <laughs> hey, Lola, what's up, man? Yes, food. I was just talking about how I was going to, like, a German pub next week with work. Looking forward to it. This music's interesting. Like, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't pair it with the stage. I don't know why. It, it just seems... I've missed two flowers somehow. How? 
Ah, have I missed two flowers? Do they not do the Sun Denara feast in Italian areas? Oh, it's like a thing? Probably. I mean, to be honest, it's not something that I've looked into. As I'm not Italian. But, most likely. gonna get some bratwurst um the the go-to move at those places is like they do a, a platter that does include some mashed potatoes sauerkraut and a mixed amount of sausages but the big ticket item is the pork knuckle it is so damn good it's just imagine pork meat that you pull and it's like very soft and, uh, it's, it's just, a, it has a little bit of fat. Just the right amount of fat. The good kind of fat. But it's... I've already pushed the cart that way, though. Wait, no, I haven't. What is this? There's a cart here. You're destroying, like, pork belly. Yeah, that's how I would describe it, as, like, you know how pork belly can be fatty? It's that sort of thing. Okay, that's where I missed it. Okay. Look, I would expect us to have a cave theme and it just doesn't have it. Okay, so there's a flower that I need to get. Be on the lookout. I don't think this goes further down. No, camera doesn't pan any further. Wait a minute. Oh! That's a new move. You can use the egg to boost yourself. I didn't know that. Look at this. Okay, not here, but like... I was pushing myself up. Ah, there it is. Just ignore the part where I mess it up, but... Ah... Okay. And now... Okay, there we go. Problem solved. Being a child appeased. keep doing this. It's like the second time I almost died and somehow recovered.
Oh, what is this? Am I able to go there, or is this some sort of gimmick here? Oh, I see, I'm gonna end up there, okay. up here? I hope not. Oh boy, it's this again. Oh, there! Okay. <laughs> Very wholesome. The level, not not the noises I'm making. I'd say the music is not what I expected it to be for this stage. That's 20 out of 20. See what I mean? Like, I don't have to go out of my way to get all the coins. At somehow that stage, I don't understand how I can go through it multiple times and still not find the remaining coins. Like, it... There's one more uh, flower to get. Like, I don't get it. How did that become a thing? I love the visuals in this game. Do I have shape? Oh, you get to wear a costume to protect Yoshi. I mean, the shape is... It's all well and good, but I'm I'm more of a fan of another one. Hold on. I'm gonna buy out Did I buy these? I think I got all these already. No, I got okay. So you can, you can pick, just to add to the wholesomeness. I still think the cow is the best. This one, no idea what this is. It just doesn't look right. Hot tub. <laughs> but it's, it's this purple substance. What's the purple substance? There's more now. Another request. Pirate ship. 
on the port of flip side. Okay. The cow is a moody. Oh no. It seems like we have to have one pun per day. I guess whatever the purple is, it's it's this. I mean, it, it, it's not water. It's some sort of jelly. It might, given it's a crafted world, it's probably jelly. But that just makes it stranger. It's just. That's the ship. The hell? There we go. Or maybe it's another ship I need to hit. <laughs> the aesthetic of the game is tripping you out? <laughs> In what way? Because everything's crafted? I mean, this is the flip side, so it's like the reverse side. That's the ship I'm looking for. Keep playing. the other dog out. Okay, sub three minute, hopefully that's enough. There's a lot more to do than than I expected. Found me a pirate ship. Yeah. Another request. A squid. It's a flip side stage. Okay. I'll do this stage and then let's move to Animal Crossing. I just realized it's been like three hours. I do want to get to Tunic, so. But I want to make sure that my villagers don't get um, passive aggressive because I haven't seen them in a couple days. Yeah. The old SpongeBob being three hours later. We'll see what we can. Spot. Oh, they're like 
Yeah, I got it. That's what it's made out of. You can, it's, the flip side is a behind the scenes of what the stage is made out of. So you can make this yourself. Oh, what have I done? See, you know the, the good thing about not dying? Yahoo! The good thing about not dying is that you don't show the people watching you play that you're a dumbass. So it's a good thing I didn't die. Why didn't it come with me? Doggo. That's weird, I got it right away last time. Alright, it doesn't matter. You can just use the, the Poochie as ammunition. Oh yeah, we're looking for a squid. I don't know if it's already gone past. Forgot about that. I feel like it would have been noticeable. Last dogger. I hear it. Oh, in the background. Okay, it's being tricky. There we go, got it. Ooh, I hope this isn't sub three minute. It probably is. <laughs> Gonna miss it by ten seconds. No, it's fine. 3.30. Okay. Request done. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Uh, for next time. I'll go with another Yoshi color for next time. Yahoo! 
and it has individual costumes for it as well. Okay, let me just move forward. But this is where I'm going to leave this for today. It's a lot of fun, this game. It's very cozy and nice looking aesthetically, so it's a lot of fun. We'll pick this up probably tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, you know the drill. If you want to support the channel, consider pressing buttons for the algorithm stuff. And thank you to those that have been doing that so far. Uh, yeah, if you want to watch me play something else, I'm sure two other videos have popped up on your screen, so I hope you do check them out. But otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Bye, YouTube. Twitch says bye as well.